Hello there, this is Kevin Phillips aka Kevman3D and what I want to do in this video is show you how to operate a little script or show you a script that I've developed I should say uh, to assist in UV mapping or in this case snapping UVs to each other. Now the reason you'd snap UVs to each other and let's just go get the um, the script it's actually up on the liberty3d.com website under the forum system and under Lightwave 3D Scroll down and there it is there, UV snapper. And so what you do is we download that, and I've already done that obviously. Um, and I've installed it into Lightwave. And its whole purpose is to take similar kind of uh, UVs that are close to each other and snap the vertices together in the UV map. Now the reason you do that is when you want to share a particular area of a UV map, say for instance in this uh, example what I'm going to do is take this video arcade game and I am going to uh, I'm going to kind of overlap these two because rather than painting two sides of the uh, of the UV map it would be nice if I just had to paint one okay and then share that part of the image with both sides of this model okay you get this sometimes in game engines um, or I should say game objects where you want to perhaps do two eyeballs and paint one eyeball texture onto both of those and sometimes some unwrapping tools can kind of lay these out in different positions. Uh, so what would be nice is if you could overlap those, combine them together so that they both sit in the same UV space. Now there are some uh, issues with the Lightwave UV system, okay, if you're familiar with that. And that is things such as, well let's say we take this side of my arcade cabinet, and we select its UVs and my UV uh, window here. And you notice that it selects all these other ones because they're connected together but they're discontinuous and discontinuous of course you can tell by these red vertices mean that uh, these vertices are shared with another part of the model but they're not connected together in the UV map. Now if I was to take this I was to say well that's cool let's take that but I'll need to flip it the other way so I can overlap them. I go into my map menu and I'll say flip UVs, flip U because I want to flip it across horizontally and when I do that it instead kind of adjusts them in here which I don't want to do because these UVs belong here and also there and it hasn't done anything to these ones so let's undo that now to make sure that we don't accidentally screw things up like that we need to disconnect our geometry and the easiest way to do that is to select the geometry in here and press Control U for unweld. Control U. And I'm going to take these now. You notice that they're uh, they're not. Oops, let's unselect that. They're not red anymore because they're actually separate. Oops. Let's select those again. And I'm going to take those, I'm going to say flip UVs, flip on U, there it is. And you notice uh, one thing I'm not overly keen on is the fact that, ah, there we go, it's redrawn it. Sometimes when you uh, do an operation on UV map, you notice that the points appear to get kind of deselected, even though they're selected down here. Okay, anyway, so let's uh, use the move tool, and I'm going to move these kind of close to here. Okay, I'm not going to overlap them. This is not a, the best example. The reason being, of course, everything is pretty much identical. There it is. Let's move it kind of up and close. Okay, so let's say I had two UVs and I overlapped them and I couldn't quite get them lined up like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all these and I'll show you another problem uh, in a second. I'll select these and then I'm going to go to my UV snapper, which I've installed into Lightwave and I've created a button for it and we go UV Snapper 2, version 2 which is the name of it and here we have three modes that we can use. Now one is average and what average will do if we click OK is you'll notice it will do nothing but it will screw this up. Now the reason for this is that even though these are overlapping each other they've got that same problem that we had and also can't see the selection. They have that same problem that we had with the side there when we tried the flip UV is that these UV points were shared up here so it kind of screwed this up. Okay, this one here is also, you notice by the red dots, 
connected to this one. So when we do anything here, it throws this out. So let's undo that. So what I need to do is I need to un deattach or unso, I guess, uh, this one. So control U for unwild. Okay, now they're separate and we can tell they're separate because there's no red dots or red vertices. So I'm going to take all of these now and I'll show you what the modes actually do in UV Snapper. Let's zoom in on that. We've got UV Snapper version 2 and you saw the average tool because when you average what it does is it finds the average center of all the selected UVs and it will merge them into one point like that. So if you ever need your UVs uh, to share a flat color you can always crunch them down here and just paint a blotch of color on top. Okay, I don't want that. Now under UV Snapper we also have a thing called Pairs. Now Pairs is a selection based thing and we can't do anything with Pairs here because I just randomly selected them with a kind of a lasso so if we go OK. See it's a little bit funky. It's not perfect. But what uh, Pairs does is it's uh, I designed it because sometimes you want to select things to say where things go to. So nice to work in pairs. Click, click, click. You select a whole pile of pairs. This one to this one. So it's the first one you select to the second one. And then you can go UV Snapper two and say pairs. And it basically goes through each pair and snaps it to each other. Now the last option I did because it was just handy. Um, if you've got a lot of UVs that you need to cut, they're, they're really, really close, but they're not quite there, um, such as this, and the points are really close to each other, then under UV Snapper, what we can do is click Nearest, and what Nearest will do is look for the vertice that is nearest to each other, and it'll merge them together. Now, it doesn't know what kind of, um, what order, for instance, it might snap this one to that, or that one to this, so it's not perfect but uh, it is one way of quickly getting an approximate UV map um, where things are just snapped perfectly to each other. And we click OK and we're done. Okay, now with UV maps, I don't kind of tend to get too picky if things are slightly out because it, one went in instead of out. The reason for that, of course, is simply that um, you might get a very minimal amount of distortion in your image when it's mapped back on. And if it's just so tiny, like half a pixel or something like that, I'm not going to be too picky over that. So that's what UV Snap is all about. It's just a handy tool for doing this kind of snapping. So uh, if this is something you find uh, handy in your workflow, then uh, please do go and download it. It is a free script, and hopefully it'll be useful for you. Okay, I'm going to select those, use my, whoops, sorry, UV Snapper nearest, bang and then just to combine it all back together. You don't always want disconnected geometry in 3 miles. I'm going to M for merge and 164 points eliminated. They become all red because they're now shared but my UV map is now ready to paint up.